Okay, hey all, I decided I'm going to go and make a tutorial on how to do elevators. Elevators are really, really, really easy, okay? Build a block, just a regular old block. It doesn't even need to be hollow or anything. Go out, choose Funk Instance. Apply that, and then go to your VMF file name, and then you'll get pumped out in, like, maps or whatever. Go to Instances, go all the way down to Turbine Elevator. This is the way it works. You have an elevator base and an ele elevator logic. You got two destructed bases and then one logic. And then you have one departure and one logic. So let's choose elevator arrival destructed base 23. Apply it. So it doesn't come up. You can't see anything. So that means what you have to do is you have to save your map. I'm going to save mine as y -tess, I guess. And then you have to kill it and then load it back up. And there you go. Looks fantastic, huh? So then go and grab your selection tool and then move it out of your block so it doesn't have it intersecting. And now here is the easy part. This is the part that is just, you know, you hit shift, click on it, move it off so you copy it, move it back on in the exact same place. You are still selected one of them, double click on it, and then browse and change it to the logic. We picked the destructed base so it's the elevator arrival logic. There you go. Apply it. Your elevator's done. Go and make it so it's connected. It's it. That's it. It's done. You're thinking, hey, why don't we just do the departure? Let's do it. Come on. Click on that. What is this? A funk instance. Now, there was only one departure, so it's got to be departure elevator A, elevator A4 base. Apply that. Here's this big old honky tonk over here. So let's move that out of here. So it's not intersected with the other one. And I'm going to use the transform to get this flipped around. So let's do Control M and then flip it on the Z by 180 degrees. Flipped all the way around, and let's move it back over to it. Now it's probably going to be a little too low. Oh, it's too high. So let's move over on our other on our other view and move it down so it totally matches. Looks good. Now let's go to our top down again, and then Shift click, copy it, slide it back, and then go get your selection tool. Selection tool, double click, browse it, and then find your Departure elevator A4 base logic. Did I actually choose it? I did. Apply. There you go. There's one more thing you have to do. You got to make your arrival and departure stuff. So, Funk Instance, apply it, and then choose your VMF file name. Go back to Instances, choose Transitions, do this big guy. Departure, depart, arrival, departure, transition ends. Apply. You want to make it so it's not intersecting anything else, which it's not. You could go and do properties on this. You could choose an arrival to video and a departure video, and they have all the videos listed on the Valve wiki, on the um, <clears throat> on the Source Hammer SDK wiki. And you just go and you type them in. No big deal. And then um, that's it. It's done. You have an elevator that brings you in and brings you out. I'm going to test it to make sure that it works. <clears throat> but it's that simple. With using the shift key, it's that simple. You don't have to align it. You don't have to figure out how it works. Just, that's it. Okay. And, oh, look at this. We're such an elevator. Yes, we are. And then it goes up, and then, then there's your departure. Cool, guys. Well, I hope if you didn't understand how simple elevators are, you have been educated. So I'm done.